so I don't know if you remember, but there was a time not too long ago where Nicolas Cage was kind of having a renaissance. He was kind yes. of re- re- resurfacing in in the movie fandom and in the movie com- and just in pop culture in general. He um, still is. He still is absolutely still it's still a huge huge name. But there mm-hmm. was a time where it seemed like National Treasure, one of his franchises from the early aughts, was coming back. I mean, they even did a very forgotten show on Disney Plus <laughs> called oh. National Treasure. Did anyone watch it? Did Bro, you watch? I it? was I was thinking about it. I was thinking about it and reviewing it, and I'm like, I, there's not enough hours in the day to do this. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, this looks this looks like trash. Like I'll watch. I haven't started uh, the Percy Jackson series yet either. I've been wanting to see mm-hmm. that because my boy Edge Adam Copeland's in it as uh, I believe is as Ares or Zeus. I don't remember, but um, yeah, I saw that they put out like a mini series and I was like, nah, nah, I don't have time for that. Um, but let me tell you this much. I adore the first two national treasure movies. They are such like, they're, they're just fun comfort movies for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, the first one I actually can reveal this. I'm going to be reviewing the first national treasure movie this year. I might review it, you know, sooner than you think guys. Um, Cause it, it turns 20 years old, it turns 20 years old this year. Came out. No four. That's nuts. Old. <laughs> that is nuts. Isn't it? Like um, I, I didn't watch that one in theaters. I do remember watching book of secrets in theaters and book of secrets is fun. But I kind of liken these two movies to like a Home Alone sort of formula where the second movie doesn't necessarily need to exist because it kind of comes up with a really dumb reason as to why these people lose all their money from the first movie and all their riches. Uh, He has to win the girl back again. And it's like, okay, instead of stealing the Declaration of Independence, Nick Cage is sitting there going, I'm going to kidnap the president of the United States. (laughs) How ridiculous (laughs) is that? It's... It's just dumb, absurd, ludicrous, ridiculous movie making there. But um, I mean, that's Bruckheimer for you, though. I mean, this is the same production company that partnered with Disney on the Pirates movies. But these are these are kind of their uh, redheaded stepchilds, I would say. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean is extremely profitable. National Treasure, not nearly as much. And yep. I don't know why. <laughs> well, I think Disney agrees with you. Because we've gotten an update for National Treasure 3 from Nicolas Cage. And it ain't good for those who wanted National Treasure 3. Because it sounds like Disney ain't going to do it. This comes to us from Collider. uh, Speaking with uh, Nicolas Cage. It says, if you were hoping for National Treasure 3, you might want to start praying for something different. If uh, star Nicolas Cage's recent comments to Screen Rant are anything to go by. In an exclusive interview, Cage was asked about the development of the film. And it's fair to say he wasn't. Uh, best thrilled about being asked as he felt the headline word eclipse the project he was there to talk about and that which uh, ended up being true because I don't even know what his project was uh, the news is disappointing as producer Jerry Bruckheimer had previously confirmed that a script had been written but Cage's comments appear to uh, pour cold water on the prospect of it ever seeing the light of day because here is what he said here we go See, you're the one that brings these things up, and they go out and they eclipse everything out, uh, everything else. No, there was no National Treasure three. If you want to find treasure, don't look at Disney. Okay, it's not there. Yeah, I mean, it's not like I was holding out hope for a National Treasure three or anything. Uh, I mean, would it be cool to see a third one? Sure. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> this this news isn't really like surprising to me in a sense i agree uh, but i mean it's still kind of like okay nicholas cage you know people were kind of holding out hope and glorifying national treasure like to be like these amazing masterpieces of filmmaking which they're not <laughs> like they're far from it nicholas cage has far better movies in his arsenal especially in recent years but th- th- it's it's just dumb fun that's all they yeah. are but well I I do not have the nostalgia attached to it like you do. I mm-hmm. only ever saw the first one like a couple of years back, not even that long ago. Never, I don't think I ever got around to seeing the second one. But um, mm-hmm. I don't think a National Treasure 3 would be a good idea. Honestly, I think it makes sense that Disney is kind of back. Like, like we mentioned before, uh, they tried bringing back the brand 
with a TV show that I don't even think anyone watched at all. I don't, I Disney might have even pulled it from their service. I don't even know. Uh, I never watched it. I kind of forgot about it as soon as the trailer came out. I didn't even know when it dropped on Disney Plus. And people don't really talk about National Treasure. I mean, I don't hear Mm-mm. people, even in my life, who talk about this in a fond way. They might have watched it once when they were a kid, but it's not a it's not a franchise that seems to have stuck around in a people's life who grew up with it. Maybe it's like a little bit of a fond memory, but it doesn't seem to be like a big pop cultural, you know, juggernaut. So yeah, the fact yeah. that Disney kind of squashed plans for a national treasure three, I'm not surprised either. In fact, I think from a business perspective it was probably a good idea. I mean, not that these movies have to cost that much to make, but unless you're just going to throw it on Disney Plus, I I don't think it would have been a box office hit. I don't think it would have done that well, honestly. No. What do you think of that? Do you think there would have been an audience for National Treasure 3? Well, I mean, you got to think about this, too. Like, just take take the audience out of the equation, right? When you put, like, it's the same thing what, that you look at uh, the reasons why a movie's being remade. When you put a sequel together and you're writing a concept for a sequel, does it warrant existing? Mm-hmm. You know, and maybe they just Disney just doesn't have any ideas for a National Treasure 3 because there's really nowhere else for a story this ludicrous to go. You know, a guy is a treasure hunter and the map is on the back of the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> <laughs> like, where else can you take that? I'm going to kidnap the president of the United States. OK, yeah, OK, <laughs> I get it. you know, <laughs> you can't really get any like higher stakes than kidnapping the president you know yeah you can't do it well it's hollywood so if they were gonna think of a stupid idea they could have come up with a stupid idea but as far as this idea it sounds like they're yeah doesn't sound like this is gonna happen i'm not surprised it's not gonna happen um i think disney is smart for not doing it honestly I think yeah. uh it would have been hard to make a profit on it and i don't know i think nicholas cage would be fun to see him return to something like that but i don't know i want to see him keep doing like weird these weird movies that he's been doing recently like i i I like where his career is at right now i don't really need to see him go back to national treasure like dream scenario (laughs) yeah unbearable weight of massive talent come on love that one weird stuff like that you know absolutely Well, thank you very much for checking out this clip from our live show that we do every Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time called Zach Milne Talks Live. If you like talking movies, if you like talking movie news, why don't you consider hitting that subscribe button before you leave? We do that on this channel all the time. But if you still need some time before you fully commit, you can check out the full video. This clip is from right here, and you can check out another video over here. The subscribe button's right here.